What's going on guys? Coming back at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the McLaren Honda Mercedes Formula One situation and touching on the Z06 class action lawsuit and some more stuff with Mercedes. Let's get it. Alright, so as you guys know, um, the McLaren Formula One team with Honda, they haven't been doing so hot ever since uh, McLaren dropped Mercedes. Well, I'm not really sure how the split happened. And then they joined up with Honda. So the McLaren Honda team there, ever since they joined up, it, it's it's been absolutely just it, just downhill. It, it, absolutely horrendous I mean they have Fernando Alonso they had Jensen Button but now they have someone else I think yeah Jensen Button he uh, retired I believe I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong but Fernando Alonso and I'm not I forget who else is racing for them now but big name Fernando Alonso he's an F1 world championship but you know with the car and its horrible performance and lack of reliability it's just hindered his skills so much I mean to the point where he decided to do a Indy car race and if you watch that he was leading for quite a bit um, he probably was feeling so so good about himself during those Indy car laps where he was leading uh, unfortunately at the end of the race he didn't really place very well I'm not really I forget but uh, you know good for him in that but he's coming to a point where if McLaren Honda doesn't make a change or if another team doesn't try to pick him up uh, he might just quit Formula One altogether so McLaren they are thinking about well I, I believe they want to drop Honda and join back up with Mercedes um, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work I mean every year I think Honda puts in a hundred million dollars into the uh, McLaren F1 thing the, that whole situation so if they dropped Honda they'd be losing that hundred million dollars that they would get to put into the team but <clears throat> I'm not I don't know I think it would be like like 20 million dollars 18 million dollars to lease the Mercedes engines I'm not really sure how that partnership is gonna spark up again Mercedes has said no comment every time they've been asked about uh, Honda and them merging back together but you know that that's what McLaren needs to be back on top again I mean uh, the last uh, race I believe it was Canada Fernando Alonso he was holding strong in 10th he was about to score points until there were two laps left to go and the engine just failed again we've seen that several times uh, and I think the first two or three races or the first two races he got to almost the end of the race and uh, the, the, the car just just failed out of nowhere it, the, the whole situation with that team I, I want them to succeed I'm a huge fan of Fernando Alonso and McLaren but that Honda those Honda engines are just so unreliable when it comes to the McLaren Honda collaboration their team I mean in IndyCar it's Honda's and I think Chevy's that race I mean that that's all there is it's just the different teams but in the whole Formula One sector it's just a no-go It's so unreliable and the thing is that like does Mercedes want to give the competitors like a, a real competitor their engine again to maybe pop prop up some more competition I mean they already have to deal with Ferrari and Red Bull and everything in that nature so yeah that's that's um I don't know that's just something to think about and I'm sorry guys um, I think was it Monaco I watched the race but I wasn't really able to put the video together since I was in Chicago and with the whole Canada thing it was my graduation party uh, I completely forgot to watch the race but and of course I I forget to watch the race when uh, the main guy I root for Lewis Hamilton he wins wins and it was a one-two for Mercedes and I think Daniel Ricardo he got third so as yeah, pretty good race even though I didn't get to watch it but yeah um, what else what else uh, Mercedes uh, along with some more Mercedes action they're launching 
uh, the orange edition again with the GLE, the trucks, the SUV crossover type situations. Uh, they're launching the orange edition. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this before. This is what Mercedes does. Uh, they did it with the CLA 250. They, they did the orange edition. If you ever watch one of my Easton Leaps um, where I go out and look for cars, the spot uh, when I go to Easton I always see a CLA 250 orange edition and in those it looks like you know it's just a classic orange piping around the car and in the interior you get some orange and uh, like <laughs> like a cream sickle type situation like orange and white stripes on the interior and what they're doing with the GLE and the GLC coupe and like all the all that range they're coming out with the orange edition uh, they're doing like this uh, custom Napa leather, leather just for that car and you know they're coming out with specific colors that would uh, contrast well with the orange accents like the orange around the rims uh, wheels and the orange out front and the orange piping on the interior so that's basically just what the orange edition is nothing too special um, I'm not really sure why Mercedes does this uh, if you want to comment below uh, what the significance of the orange edition is maybe I'll read into it more but comment below tell me what it is uh, enlighten me with your knowledge <laughs> but yeah they're they're gonna be launching those pretty soon I mean they already have cars that have the orange edition on it so yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much it um, there was a, something with Corvette and a class action lawsuit but Rob Ferretti already made a big video on that he did it very well I'll put the link in the description but he made some pretty good points and I agree 100% with what he said about this whole uh, class action lawsuit against uh, the Corvettes and GM towards saying that, you know, these customers were saying, oh, you advertise this as a track car and it doesn't perform, it, it overheats and everything on the track when it when you said it was a track car, which is complete BS because it's a road car built to put a fast lap on the track not to be tracked over and over and over again if you want to get a track car by a GT3 uh, cup car I think they make those in Corvettes I'm not sure if you can buy them from Corvette or that's uh, just a racing team but like with Porsche you can actually buy the GT4 cup car but mm, yeah they're like specific cars made for the track and the Corvette Z06 is not specifically made for the track only and that's where the class action lawsuit is kind of ridiculous and you know it just should be dropped and it's just lawyers trying to make a quick buck off of something that they picked up on and they convinced some owners to get behind it so yeah that's pretty much it I'll link Rob Ferretti's video below and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for today oh and I did want to bring up something else um, at Canada, McLaren Honda did win something. They won the river like raft race. Absolutely hilarious. But they did win that. Uh, it's where, like, all the crew members, I think, they hop on the raft, they grab some paddles, and they race across the river or, like, a lake or something. I don't, like, a river. Yeah. But they won it. <laughs> they can win with their muscle, but they can't win with their horrible engines. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. If you found this video informative or liked what I'm saying, just like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. See you guys later.